Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. Big SS BCI news. Four more states have been approved for $339 million. This was just announced by the Treasury. If you're keeping score at home, that means 44 states and territories have now been approved for SS BCI funding. If you're a small business owner, or entrepreneur, this is an amazing program. I've called it the new EIDL. I'll share with you the four new states and territories to get approved, and I'll share an example of someone who was just approved for SS BCI funding and what you'll need to have to get approved. So there's some good tips in this video, especially if you're thinking about low interest loans or other financing options in the next few months. As always, thanks for tuning in and subscribing. Be sure to hit the like button. Our amazing team does a ton of research for this. Hitting the like button is the best way to say thanks to all of them and all of the work they do every single day to keep you up to date. Before I share where this $339 million went to and what types of programs, I wanna share a quick example of someone we were working with. She just got approved for a $50,000 SS BCI loan. At first she was denied through one CDFI lender. So we went to another one of our CDFI partners and helped her get in a stronger position. It did take a couple months to get the approval. Here's what she needed to get that loan and I'll give the terms of that loan in a minute. She needed a business plan, financials, a resume, and a cover letter, along with her business and personal bank statements. This CDFI did two interviews with her to talk about her vision and goals for the business. We helped her prepare for those. So in short, we helped her get funding ready to get a $50,000 loan through the SSBCI program, which is a 60 month loan, AKA five years at 6.5% interest, and the first three months are deferred. So that's just one example of the hundreds of businesses we've been working through the SSBCI process with. Yes, it can be long, but especially if you can't get financing elsewhere, or you wanna take advantage of this $10 billion being funneled through the state small business credit initiative. Feel free to talk to us, helloskip.com slash join. You can start a membership or talk to us about becoming a member. We can let you know if we think you're a good fit. Speaking of good fit, back to the almost $400 million that's been approved. If you want to see your state, you can go to ssbcilist.com. You'll see every single state that we keep updated here, whether it's pending, whether it's approved, whether it's accepting applications, and links to detailed blog posts about this. Of course, a lot of the work is in putting together the materials to go to the CDFI lender, like in the example I just gave, having a business plan, financials, cover letter, resume, and how to do that effectively. So here are the four new states and territories that were just approved. First up, Arkansas for $81.6 million. Arkansas will operate seven SSBCI programs, a capital access program, two loan participation programs, two loan guarantee programs, and two equity venture capital programs. Arkansas allocated $15 million to the loan guarantee program and $7.5 million to a loan participation program, each designed to reach underserved businesses. Next up is Guam, one of the two territories that just was approved for funding. They've gotten $58.6 million. They'll operate three programs, a loan guarantee program, a collateral support program, and an equity venture capital program. The loan guarantee program has allocated over $36 million, provides lenders with the necessary security in in the form of a partial guarantee to incentivize lenders to make loans to borrowers. Again, that's a major part of this program. CDFIs and other lenders have the financial backing of these federal funds to approve people that they might otherwise not approve. By the way, Guam has a collateral support program which has $12 million. This will provide partner lenders cash collateral in savings accounts to support loans to borrowers. Rhode Island was in this press release. They've been approved for $61.7 million. Of course, we already covered that a few months back, but it made this press release here. They have three programs, capital access, loan participation, and equity venture capital program. Next up, the second territory here, the U.S. Virgin Islands approved for up to $57.5 million. They'll operate four programs, collateral support, loan participation, and two loan guarantee programs. 22.9 million is going to the new loan guarantee program. And finally, the fourth state that was just approved for funding is Wisconsin, approved for up to $79.1 million. They'll operate seven programs, a capital access program, collateral support program, debt equity hybrid program, 
two loan participation programs, and two equity venture capital programs. So if you're in one of those states or territories or in one of the other 40 states and territories that has already been approved for funding, don't miss out because this is limited funding. If you wanna talk about SSBCI in your state, please do yourself a favor, get in touch with us, helloskip.com slash join, better to use the link in the description of this video. Since we'll likely have to compile documents for your business, such as a business plan, financial statements, I'd recommend the Platinum membership, but you can look at them or even talk to us about what the best option might be. And if you wanna see this complete list of all SSBCI funding, the latest and greatest, go to SSBCIList.com. This program is finally getting momentum. If you've been on the sidelines absorbing this for the past several months while we've been talking about this, now's the time you might wanna learn more or about other government-backed programs such as SBA funding. Thanks for tuning in and liking this video. Leave a comment below, what state are you in and are you planning on going after some of this funding? Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.